Acts 11. And the apostles and brethren that were in Yehud heard that the other nations had also received the word of Yehuah. And when Kepha was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, You went in to men uncircumcised and did eat with them. But Kepha rehearsed the matter from the beginning and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Yahweh, praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. A certain vessel descended, as it had been a great sheet, let down from heaven by four corners, and it came even to me. Upon the which, when I had fastened my eyes, I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Kepha, slay, and eat. But I said, Not so, Yehuah, for nothing common or unclean has at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What Yah has cleansed, that call not common. And this was done three times, and all were drawn up again unto heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was, sent from Kekara unto me. And the Ruach bade me go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he showed us, as how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Yapo, and call for Shimon, whose surname is Kepha, who shall tell you words whereby you and all your house shall be saved. And as I began to speak, the Ruach HaKodesh fell upon them, as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of Adonai, how that he said, Yohanan, indeed, immersed with water, but ye shall be immersed with the Ruach HaKodesh. For as much then as Yehuah gave them the like gifts as he did unto us who believed on the Adonai, Yehusha HaMashiach, what was I, that I could withstand Yehuah? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified Yah, saying, Then has Yahuwah also to the other nations granted repentance unto life. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen travailed as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Yehudim only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which, when they were come unto Antioch, spoke unto the Yavanim, preaching as Adonai Yahusha. And the hand of Yahuwah was with them. And a great number believed and turned unto El Yahuwah. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the called out assembly, which was in Jerusalem. And they sent forth as Barnavi, that he should go forth as far as Antioch. Who, when he came and had seen the grace of Yah, was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto Yah. For he was a good man, and full of the Ruach HaKodesh, and of belief, and much people were added unto Yahuwah. Then departed Barnavi to Tarsus, for to seeketh Shoal. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the called out assembly and taught much people. And the Talmudim were called Mashiachim first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem to Antioch. And there stood up one of them, named Hagav, 
and signified by the Ruach that there should be great famine throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Cacar. Then the Talmudim, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Yehud. Which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnavi and Shaul.